Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Panther Talk. Hey, hey, hey. This is your weekly dose of world news, trivia, and campus updates. My name is Aria Mabry, and here with me I have Will Gray. Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Hi, Will. I'm so excited to be here. This is awesome. This is super exciting. So we've got some new faces here on the Panther Talk team. If you don't know Will, he's super great. Will, go ahead and give us give us a little spiel about yourself. Sure. Um, I am a musical theater major here at LaGrange College. Uh, this is my first year here, but I'm transferring in as a junior yeah. uh, from <laughs> Southern Union uh, State Community College over in Opelika, Alabama. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a commuter, so driving back and forth every day. Uh, <laughs> It's a great time. How's that um, life? <laughs> it's not great, but um, I, I'm getting used to it. 45 minutes isn't too bad. So, wow. um, And it's kind of a nice little time to listen to some music yeah. and like mentally prepare myself for the day yeah. and to wind down on the way home. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm waiting for the weather to cool down a little bit. No AC in my car, so it's a great time. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Uh, that's got to suck. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah, that's me. I'm Will Gray. Yay. Nice to meet y'all. <laughs> Yay, Will Gray. Well, we are so happy to have you, and it's going to be a great season of Panther Talk, everyone. So we're just going to have a little bit of a conversation, give us some updates about campus yeah, since we've right been in. back. We've been back for about three, three weeks. four weeks. This is our fourth week when, of classes. Yeah, yeah, so when this drops, it'll be five. Yeah. So, yeah, September I don't 18th? Know. Uh, no 17th, idea. 18th, something like that. Um, but yeah, we've been here for a minute, and there are definitely some new things happening on campus. So exciting. Yeah. So I'm sure we can all see that Henry Hall is <laughs> no longer in existence. Yep. The ruins of Henry Hall have been. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, removed. all the ruins are gone. Yes. Thank goodness. Yeah. Because. Cleared out. Yes. Yeah. When was... I got here, it was like <laughs> a giant pillar and, and no building. It was just. Yes. <laughs> so. You were you never really saw Henry when it nope. was in all of its glory. Never saw it one time. So, <laughs> so when you were on, like on campus for orientation, it was just it was kind of yeah not there. Um, I bulldozers. What it was like. um, I remember one time I was walking around. I think you were giving me a tour actually, and <laughs> uh, they smashed a window, and we both <laughs> were just like. Whoa. I, I remember that because I screamed. Yep. Because I was like, "What just happened?" Yeah, loud noises. But it's over now. They're so, done. Yes, yes. I'm really glad that they are because I was getting a little worried there for a minute when we were like two weeks into classes and there was still the elevator shaft yeah. there. I That's was like, what that was. Yes. I did not have any. I, somebody, I forget who told me that it was the elevator shaft, but I was like, we got to get that out of here. <laughs> it was a slow removal process because yes. they were like clipping all of the giant metal steel beams yeah. one at a time. And man. I really wish that they could have just come in and like wrecking balled it, but. With all it, the other buildings with, around, yeah. that was... You know, you've got <laughs> Lewis Library right there, Brand Turner library, Hall, you know, you nice. know, that parking lot, which... You don't want a bulldozer <laughs> to no. yeah, wreck a bunch of cars. <laughs> Not good for insurance. Yeah, no. Um, but yeah, Henry Hall is gone. It's a little weird to be able to look out from, like, Corn Auditorium or something and be able to see Mariotti Gym. That's just a little weird to me. It's a nice view, though. It is. You can see a lot of the historic district. I mean, it's a lot of trees, but the houses that you can see. You know, the parking lot. Nice cars. Yes, a lot of nice cars. (laughs) A lot of nice big trucks. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah. And uh, what are they planning on doing with that space now that Henry is out of here? Right. So I have heard some things that they will maybe put like a outside community space with lots of hammocks. Or turn it into a student great. center. I've heard a possibility of an amphitheater going there. Wow. Um, but I do know that it probably won't be another building there. Okay. But for now, it'll probably turn into a green space just for the time being to make our campus nice look beautiful. To relax, you know? Yes. And with like residence halls and stuff, I'm pretty sure that Manger will be renovated mm-hmm. into our next residence hall don't quote me on this and i think that there might be townhomes going in on panther way i think okay <laughs> ask <laughs> someone else about it. <laughs> I, not 100 percent on that not 100 percent, but i've heard stuff yeah possibly so what is manje now is it it was an academic building it was an academic building and then i believe in 2020 it 
was cut offline because it had a lot of issues with the mm. HVAC system, which if you don't, you should probably listen to, um, I forget what episode it is, but with the episode with Dr. Baxter on it, because she'll... She explains it a it's lot a great better episode. than I can. <laughs> Shout out to last season of Panther Talk. Yes. If you did not listen to all of the episodes, go back and listen. They're great. You know, yes. Season great one was great, but now we're back and better than yeah. ever for season two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Greek life recruitment just yeah. ended. Um, just super finished exciting. this weekend. Yep. Yeah. There's a lot of great stuff happening in the Greek life community, and it's growing a lot, mm-hmm. which is super awesome because I know COVID kind of... Killed some numbers off. <laughs> That's the but story now, of Lagrange College, man. So true. <laughs> but we are building it back yeah. up. Things are moving in a positive direction in a lot of areas that Absolutely. COVID affected. So yes, we'd shout love out to, see to that. Lagrange College. Woot woot. Yeah, woot woot. Speaking woot of which, woot. we got two productions going on in the musical <gasps> theater department. <gasps> yes, we do. <laughs> Take it from the top is opening on Homecoming weekend, and it's going to be a bunch of opening numbers uh and it's going to be a lot of fun very very entertaining yes um, me and aria are both in it yes. so you should totally Starring come uh, will and i and also our lovely social media coordinator aubrey helton woo-woo. and lots of other musical theater majors yes. non-majors super exciting mm-hmm. yes we love it it's the department great. has grown yes Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> we had like 17 or 18 people at auditions yes I think, which, which is, is crazy because last year we had what five six seven something like that very tripled low numbers. in size in one year so true and That's then awesome. what's the other show uh we are doing silent sky uh which is opening later this semester i think i in... think it's november yeah. 15th okay sometime I think it's, in it's, november yeah it's the wednesday thursday and friday before thanksgiving break okay Two yeah. shows on Friday. It's going to be a wonderful show, um, also starring Aubrey Helton. Um, yes. And the cast is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, I will be stage managing, and Aria is going to be doing props. Yes, yes, yes. And we've got <laughs> the help of Florinda and Abigail mm-hmm. with props and stage managing. we got the dream team going on the yes, production team. Yes, dream so. team going. Yeah. It's super exciting, but we're in rehearsals for both right now, yep. So, which is a little... <laughs> we got rehearsal from like 3 p.m. to, to 8 p.m. Yes, every it's, day. <laughs> it's a lot, but you know what? It's going to be great. Yeah. Everything's going to be super duper awesome. We're doing CE what we credits. love every day. It's great. Yes, and both of those will be CE credits. So if you're falling behind a little bit, seniors... Good opportunity to make up yes. some ground. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I think if you... Never mind. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I don't know Cut. if that's true or not. <laughs> uh... Oh, right, yeah. yeah, two shows. And that show, the the tech side of that show, I am really looking forward to because the set is going to look incredible. For Silent Sky? Yes, for Silent yes. Sky. Um, and there's a lot of like really cool lighting stuff that they're going to be working on, yes. and Hopper is going to do an yes, incredible Hopper. job. Hopper, so, he's going to do amazing. When he showed us the set in yeah. our first little read-through, I was like, jaw on the floor. For real. Hello. I have never That's done anything <laughs> yes. in theater that has like that kind of crazy production so mm-hmm. welcome to lagrange college <laughs> woot, woot. <laughs> yeah so we've got a lot of athletics going on um lots of stuff i know we're all praying for tamari vinson yes. number 91 it was a scary moment to watch but check your emails we've been getting updates like crazy on his journey yes he's got a long road ahead of him but we're all praying for him and He's going to be back and better than ever. And he's okay, which is the, He is, the which is amazing. Thing. Yeah. Which is really good. important. <laughs> um, he's, yeah. Um, we're praying for him, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a long recovery, but he's he's a fighter. And yes, he's got absolutely. the drive to, to make it happen. So mm-hmm. um, we love you, Tamari, if you're listening. Yes. So. We do. Yeah. It was a scary moment. It was. And, um, it's always scary when injuries, and especially... Major injuries like that happen yes. in sports. And I'll say from a cheerleader standpoint, it was very hard to turn around and put a happy-go-lucky cheer face yeah. on when your fellow Panther is injured. Right. I cried a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Understandably. But, yeah. Yeah. But, hey, we did it, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got through the moment. We did. But he's yeah. okay, so. That's, that's good. Yeah. And other athletics, um, so- men and women's soccer is going mm-hmm. on, volleyball, 
Um, shout out to the women's soccer team. I watched one of their games. They won four to nothing. Heck yeah. That's yes, awesome. It was really awesome. And yes, shout out to our soccer Panthers, soccer ladies. Is the cross country team also? Yes. Right now? I think they just had a, uh, what is it called? A meet? Yes. Cross country meet. A cross yep. country meet mm-hmm. recently. I don't know a whole lot about cross country because your home girl is not a runner in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love cross country. My brother runs at Montevallo. And oh. Yeah. It's it's fun to go watch and support the cross country team. You don't get to see them a whole lot because they're yeah. like running through the woods most of the time. But it's really exciting when you do see them because they're always like in a different order. So, yes. you know, like it's always a surprise when they come out of the woods and you don't yes. know who's going to be in first place. So. Yeah. I'll definitely have to head on out to a cross yeah. country meet. Support if there's the one. cross country team, guys. Yes. Go Panthers. Every team. Yeah. Go Panthers. Go Panthers. <laughs> L, see, you know, that's our new thing. The cheer team has been doing that. So get on board. L, see, you know. know. Yes. It's iconic. Good to know. Yeah. So since we've been back, our student orgs have really been ramping it up. Uh, A lot of them were out at Fair on the Hill during Welcome Week Mm -hmm. and then student org fair the next week yep or the week after something like that um i know a lot of our spiritual life groups are out there bcm and wesley fellowship spiritual life spiritual life way to represent absolutely um speaking of bcm meets on monday nights at eight Mm -hmm. wesley fellowship meets at tuesday night on eight and then there's a lot of other spiritual life organizations bozos for jesus thursday night at nine o'clock at nine yes chapel on sundays 8 p.m it's a really beautiful. So service. many wonderful things happening yes. on campus. If you would like to know more about spiritual life, you should totally talk to the Reverend Ashley Jenkins, who is our chaplain. She'll probably give you the little pamphlet that has everything that's going on spiritual life wise. Or you could talk week. to my friend Aria Mabry, who is the president <gasps> of Wesley Fellowship. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa, who's that girl? <laughs> I didn't even know she went to school. That's here. crazy. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> so we've also got the uh, Sci Fi and Fantasy Club that was. Yes started this year um oh it's been around for oh, a while oh it's been yeah, yeah i wouldn't know i haven't uh, been here so <laughs> that's okay um trivia nights um i'm waiting for those to come back that I'm sounds ready. like fun trivia nights with sci-fi and fantasy club i will be there they are so much fun let me just I love say, trivia i we, and i love yes. sci-fi and fantasy yes we so. are every time i go for a trivia i have the best time because i'm very competitive and so is everyone else in the room yeah. who's playing trivia mm-hmm. and it is just is it like themed trivia about sci-fi and fantasy yeah yeah but also other stuff there's some no no okay well, there's more stuff as well yeah maureen's giving us a thumb down right 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 <laughs> <laughs> if you would like to know more you can ask maureen or you can ask z miller who is the president of sci-fi and fantasy club do you know jackie's last name he's the vice president mormon. Jackie, jackie mormon, mormon is the vice president yes. of sci-fi and fantasy club so uh talk to him about that too jackie is also in take it from take the top take it from the top Woo. Yes. Wow. Um, Way to represent student orgs I in know. the theater department. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. What else? Um, we got art club. Art they've, club? They've already had two meetings. Wow. So, um, That's awesome. Yeah. They're, they they jump started real quick. They added me to the teams the day of the... Uh, the um fair on the hill wow like the same day wow that's um, hey that's yeah, really awesome it's awesome way to go art club yeah also student renaissance league um you know it's just where you get to come and exhibit your artwork if it's yeah. writing painting whatever photography photography <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, if you would like to know more you can ask trip floyd who's the president or sierra dancy yes yeah um let's see what other things lc miracle has started kicking off stuff sign up for dance marathon start raising money um what is that you should tell me about that lc miracle not, yeah haven't so lc miracle puts on dance marathon every year and it's just a giant fundraiser where all of the money goes towards children's miracle network hospitals oh and that is awesome yes and we work that. a lot with children's health care of atlanta i love them my sister has been going there for a long time and they are just so awesome over at choa so we love last year for dance marathon we raised twenty five thousand dollars wow yeah which is if you think about it with our small campus that is a lot of money in ratio like that is 
I don't even That's know how many dollars per student. <laughs> Whether it's a small campus or a large campus, $25,000 is a great. Lot. It's a lot of money. And we are... Helping a lot of people. Yes, it is It is glorious. I love Elsie Miracle. Let's see what else. What um, a, oh, Billiards of the Boopy. Yes. Um, I don't know too much about Billiards of the Boopy, but I know they play pool a lot in the Boopy, which is super fun. I think they also play ping pong and other <gasps> table games. Yes. At billiards of the Boopy. Yes, so, if you would like to If you don't to like to play more. billiards, but you like other games, then you should also go. Because Yes, very fun. If you would like to know more, you can ask Kyle Moore, who is the president of that organization. I will and have the to founder. meet Kyle. I don't yes. think I've ever met Kyle before. He was uh, one of the orientation leaders. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's cool. Shout out to all of the student org presidents. Yes. We are... Working hard, doing great things. Working hard. Things Certainly. are building fast on this campus. Yeah, they like, really are. I feel like since I got here four weeks ago, things have picked up, which is crazy. It's been a month, and Glory. things are already, you know, Glory. moving fast. Yes. So, Will, I am interested to see your knowledge okay. of the college. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so I'm going to hit you with a little bit of LaGrange College trivia. Right. Let's see how much I've learned in the first <laughs> month. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what year was LaGrange College founded? Let's see. Um, I believe, based on your T-shirts, 1831. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Do you happen to know the date? <laughs> I'm going to guess in the fall, since classes start in the fall. So I'm going to say September 5th. Hey, you're not as far off. Um, December 26th. Okay. The day after Christmas. The day after Christmas. That's really interesting. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Did they have like a spring semester starting in now December? That, that one I couldn't tell you. Um, <laughs> you just know it started I just on December know, 26th. I just know. I remember I was like watching a video or something, and they were like founded the day after Christmas, and it just kind of stuck with me. Sweet. So, yeah. Let's yeah. see. Um, okay. You might know this. You mm -hmm. might not. Before, that's going to give it away. Hold on. What was LaGrange College originally named? Um, it was a women's institution. Yes. Uh, what was the name of it? Was it LaGrange Women's College, or was it something completely different? Uh, you're, you're on the right track. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with LaGrange University for Women. She got farther away. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> LaGrange Female Academy. LaGrange Female Academy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was much closer the first time. Should have yeah. stuck with my gut. Yeah. That's okay. You're <laughs> definitely going to know this one, okay. but I just want to give you a right answer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how to word this question. What? I think you know what I'm going to ask. <laughs> I don't. Um, what kind of church is LaGrange College affiliated with? <laughs> uh, LaGrange College is affiliated with the First United Methodist Church. Yes. And is specifically, uh, is it a sister college of LaGrange First United Methodist Church? Uh, I don't know like the the official term official term but i know we have a direct, direct affiliation yeah, with that and church. like partnership with them which me and aria sing in the choir there on sunday mornings because we love first united methodist church of lagrange we do it's great <laughs> um let's see what else trivia i have a trivia wise. question for you oh go ahead and i know you know the answer because you told me this <laughs> oh geez <laughs> please <laughs> who was the first female president of lagrange college president daisy davies Woo. And she would supposedly sit outside of Hawks on the porch with a shotgun. That's awesome. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> That's really cool. Yes. So um, the, the male suitor who was looking to, you know, yeah. would have a hard time getting in. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll leave it at that. That's hilarious. <laughs> yes. Um, that, that is a I really fun fact about LaGrange College. <laughs> yes, it is a very fun fact. I truly do love that. Susanna Baxter should continue that. Yes, <laughs> yes, uh, or something like it. You right. know, you know, 
just can a you little... imagine seeing Dr. Baxter sitting on the front porch of Hotel? <laughs> I think I would, I would, I would pass away if I saw that. I would just, oh my lanta. I could see it though. You know. I could too. Yeah, because she loves us students very, she very does. much. She's very protective. Yes, so it's true. Great. We love you, Dr. Baxter. <laughs> when I was here for orientation, I got to spend like thirty minutes just chatting with Dr. Baxter, which is crazy because. <laughs> She's the president of the college, and I was just some student here for orientation. <laughs> she came up to me at like five o'clock in the afternoon, chatted with me and Aria for a while, and then went home, and <laughs> it was <did> great. It. <laughs> yeah, it was it was glorious, and she knew your name. I, that was crazy. <laughs> the fact that she knew my name was like yes. unbelievable. <laughs> okay, um, let's think. Trivia. Lagrange College. I'm thinking back to my orientation leader training. How many active teams? does LaGrange College have? Oh, 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 oh. I think it's, oh, I should know this. I should know this. I, it's. You told me this this summer, so you do know it, but. <laughs> I, 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 well, actually, it may have been, it may be a different number now, because I think you were telling me the number from last year, and I don't know if there's the same number of teams this year as there were last year. You said teams. 19 over the summer. 19. Yeah, but. Oh, I, that sounds right, but yeah. also... I think I saw it in a pamphlet somewhere, too. A- ask um, A.D. Olds for the d- a- actual number, because I have no idea if that's right. Well, I could have been just making <laughs> something up to make myself sound better. <laughs> oh, that's my hilarious. Goodness. Yeah. So, let's see. I think we'll do one more trivia question. Um, okay. How many students... On at just an average number, what you think does LaGrange College have? I believe that there are 7,000 total students. 7,000? Is that? 700 is what I meant. <laughs> Not 7,000. I said, wow. We 700 just became, We just became the University students. of West Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Um, and 600 undergrads and 100 graduate Something students? Like Something I, like I that. I know the like average is around 700. Yeah. I know that from my student ambassador training. Which is awesome because it gives a really small feel to the campus. Like everybody knows everybody. You never meet a stranger on this campus. Right. Which is. It's it's a very tight knit community. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah. So, yeah. Feels like home. Yes. So, a couple reminders. Check your emails all day, every day. CE credits, um, updates on Tamari, stuff like that. Check your emails. Check your emails. Emails are super important. Yes. Um... Yeah. So this has been a fabulous first episode back. This is so fun. Yes. I love doing this. I'm this so great. glad. I'm so glad. I remember last semester, spring semester of 23, when on my first episode of Panther Talk, I was like, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you can tell like when you listen to it, you can hear me kind of get a little bit more relaxed. Yeah. So... It's going to be great. This is great. Um, But it's been fabulous. We are super duper excited for this next season and for Panther Talk to just continue growing. We'll have guests on. You guys know the deal. If this is your first time listening, go back and listen to season one to get a feel. Seriously, do, because there's like a ton of useful information. So true. Very entertaining. A great 10 episodes. Totally worth the listen. (laughs) Yes. So true. So uh, we're going to wrap it up here. (laughs) Uh, Panther Talk is written by Trip Floyd, produced by Aria Mabry and Kelton Hunt. Audio engineering by Maureen Goffner. Editing and mixing by Keanthony Sills. Mastering by Kelton Hunt. And music is by Jacob Broom. So we have music. Yes, there's a little jingle that goes along with it. But for this you, is, Jacob. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> this has been so wonderful. You guys keep on listening. And welcome back to Panther Talk. Yes. Bye, y'all. <laughs>